it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here come the Jaguars to take over for the first time behind Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback in season number four. Last year was a bit of a mixed bag for Lawrence as he started off looking like a budding superstar, but then he suffered an ankle injury and was a shell of himself the rest of the way. His team needs him to stay healthy if they plan on maximizing their full potential. And if that ends up being the case, they'll have a good shot to win a lot of games here in 2024. Going quickly here to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five or five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already? I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. 
Here's Lawrence to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. That sack courtesy of Jack Campbell. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. ETN up the middle. And a short pick up there down to about the 9. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering... Is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? On third and goal, Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETM. And the snap will come inside the five at the four. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10, right at the 30. On play action, they'll throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. A man who was the Georgia State High School Player of the Year in 2020. Here's Jameer Gibbs. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10.
Now Lawrence. Thomas brings it in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Call that a very strong gain of 24. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Looking to throw Lawrence. Complete to Washington. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 18. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a Lion that's shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Lawrence. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. A give to ETN running right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Lawrence will throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will make it 6 to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Well, now how about this return? And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drop. There he goes outside. Look at the big fella go. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first-and-goal situation. Montgomery. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. They try again with Montgomery. Oh, he's hit, he lost the football, put it on the carpet. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. The Jaguars again ready to take over on offense. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and 10. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Now it's gone. And he's got it. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And his kick here is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. now as they line up and kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start on the ground, ETN. 
Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. In motion goes the tight end. From the shotgun, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram, and he goes out right around the 39. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He's going to launch it for Washington. And this is knocked away and incomplete. But I think it was a free play. Let's check the call. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. The Jags with a football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. A give, it's ETN off the option. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. From the 46, here's second down and three. And they'll go again with ETN. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And trying to shake free, but ETN cannot. The defense will stop him short. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Time for another look at this Lions offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. To Montgomery to begin the drive. Antonio Johnson makes the stop. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Gibbs straight ahead. And he stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. 
Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. In motion goes Patrick. Goff now looks to throw. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now a play fake, and it's golf. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off play action. Here's golf. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Golf. That's to the pylon and incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Once more, Montgomery. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field... Call one of those and go get six. Running for it, Montgomery. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. David Montgomery taking it in from a yard out. And the Lions' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Out 
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday they'll press it a little bit. This might be the case. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Washington with a catch. Middle of the field. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Straight ahead, ETN. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now, second and three. ETN once more. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. In motion, the tight end. Here's Lawrence. To the right side and complete to Washington. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they'll send the tight end in motion. They'll look to throw here on first down. Thomas has got it. Complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Back to the ground with ETN. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. They'll run with ETN. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. But that's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. ETN. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. 
They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Tank Bigsby. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Jags have retaken the lead. A try here for the extra point. And this one's right there, and that pushes the lead to 13-10. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Now golf. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. Touchdown, Detroit! Tim Patrick, 72 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. And what do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. 
Travis Etienne and the Jags offense set to take over again here. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Now Lawrence to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Here's Lawrence to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. To throw once more on second and 10. Lawrence, and a gain of four, gets him right to the midfield stripe. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And it's a pretty good return here as so he'll get this up to the 29. You see Tim Patrick as he and the rest of this offense get set for the upcoming series. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Complete to right. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and five. They'll fake the give. Now golf. And that'll be caught by Sam Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That is Joshua Hines Allen getting in there to bring him down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Back to Montgomery on second down. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Back to throw, golf. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. He's got the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this will stay a four-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that hole right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad. We simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. On second down, Etienne once more. Gets around him. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, 
One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And it's going to be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now a second and ten. Now Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. When it's well executed, a wide receiver screen can often be a thing of beauty, but so many things have to go right in order to complete it. Blocking out in front, timing of the quarterback with the receiver, and oftentimes everything gets set, and guess what? They drop the football. Again, it's Lawrence. And that will be incomplete as well. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to take over once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Goff now to throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 28, it's second and five. To throw is gone going underneath Gibbs has it so give him two yards there on the completion and it makes it third down and two yards to go the defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up if you're going to commit to doubling a back you better prevent a completion but give him credit extra determination extra effort turn it into a successful play now it's gone Staying on his feet. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 43. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Play action. It's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Goff now looks to throw. Throw caught by Raymond. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Here's Goff. That is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Tim Patrick with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now for the point after. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll look to ETN to start things out. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Looking to throw Lawrence. Over the middle complete. It's Thomas. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. He's got Thomas yet again complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Now Lawrence, complete to Washington, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down.
ETN up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's Lawrence. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Lawrence will throw. Thomas brings it in. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. And they'll run with ETN. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Travis Etienne, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. They're going to try and run. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Lions offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. It'll go down as a gain of six and that's going to bring up second down. Now Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. Here's second and ten. Gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Golf. That one let go deep for Laporta. And he's got it inside the 10. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big pickup of 38. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Goff now looking to throw. There's Laporta, and he's got it. Touchdown, Lions. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Jaguars' offense and Travis Etienne set to take over once again. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Credit Zadarius Smith able to get through and make that tackle for a loss. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, 
You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. On play action, Lawrence. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Lawrence to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got up with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. A give running right, ETN. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Now give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. From just shy of midfield, here's second and nine. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held, it goes incomplete. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Lawrence. Yeah, that will be incomplete. Jack Campbell there to make the play defensively. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Here's Gaw. That is caught by LaPorta. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a blitz coming and down he goes. 
The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So now following the sack, off and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. On third down they go Montgomery. A great move by Montgomery. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuffed from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? play action definitely let him get outside and create and if he has to run it he has a little bit more space to throw is golf a quick throw knocked away and incomplete probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule but i'll guarantee he quietly has told them you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Montgomery. Oh, Montgomery just unable to twist free as they hit him short of the line to gain. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They've definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there and they finally get it done on third and goal. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So an important one there as they widen their lead in this fourth quarter. All right, partner, help me out with the math here. Make sure I am on point because the way I see it, the other guys still need two touchdowns, but in addition, a two-point conversion. So this is all about them playing perfect football from here on out. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Jaguars getting set to go. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Here's Lawrence to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second and ten. Now Lawrence. He gets it to Thomas. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They're given those short little routes. Tackled him in bounds, too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. They'll come up facing third and five. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. 
He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Evan Ingram, 52 yards. And the Jaguars are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Just a four-play drive that time. And Evan Ingram able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Lawrence. And that's complete to Davis. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 
First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. Back to throw. Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing now, Lawrence. Completes it to Davis. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Lawrence. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Brian Thomas, 51 yards. And the Jaguars have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. But they certainly aren't afraid to dial up the long ball, and fans dig the long ball. And they absolutely needed it, and guess what? They got it. How about that? And now a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They're going to try and run for it. And he's going to get into the end zone. The two-point conversion successful. And we've got ourselves a tie football game. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up. But they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board. But job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. This is first and ten. Now golf. Able to complete it to Montgomery. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Goff now to throw. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. It's caught inside the 25. 
The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's first and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He's hit two. He's missed one. This for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So there was a little meat on that ball, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Here's first down. A final shot now for Lawrence. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete, so their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.